Hello all. In this video, we are going to discuss about polymorphism in system vector. Polymorphism means many forms. Polymorphism in system vector provides an ability to an object to take on many forms. Like with the help of polymorphism, a parent class handle, a parent class handle can at a time act as a parent class as well as a child class handle. We will discuss this in later slides. So consider a class called base underscore class, and we have a function which is of virtual type, and the name of the function is display, and the return type is void, and we are displaying the statement like this, and ending the function and class. For now, let us not consider this virtual. Let us declare this function as non-virtual without virtual keyword so we are taking this function void display only for now and we are creating three extended classes called ext underscore class underscore one ext underscore class underscore two ext underscore class underscore three which are extending from base underscore class so base underscore class has three extended classes ext underscore class underscore one so this base underscore class has three extended classes or child classes called e x t underscore one, e x t underscore class underscore two, and e x t underscore class underscore three, which are derived from this base underscore class. And these all classes have same method called display. And the main parent class also have the same method name as display. And inside this display method, we are displaying this statements inside extended class one inside extended class two and inside extended class three now we are creating handles we are declaring handles for these three classes ext underscore class underscore one ext underscore class underscore two ext underscore class underscore three as ec underscore one ec underscore two ec underscore three and we are creating objects for these three handles so ec underscore one ec underscore two ec underscore three are the three handles for the extended classes and we are and we have also created objects for these handles so each handle has memory so each object has memory ec underscore one has separate memory ec underscore two has separate memory and ec underscore three has separate memory and here we are declaring base underscore class handles as b underscore c of zero b underscore c of one and b underscore c of so these three are the handles of base class and here we are doing handle assignment as b underscore c of 0 equal to ec underscore 1 and b underscore c of 1 equal to ec underscore 2 and b underscore c of 2 equal to ec underscore of 3. Like this we are assigning the like this we are assigning extended class handles to base class handles and we are calling the display methods using this base class handles b underscore c of 0 dot display b underscore c of 1 dot display b underscore c of 2 dot display so what should be the output here we have taken the case of function is base class function is non virtual so what is the expected output we are calling display methods with the help of base class handle like this b underscore c of 0 dot display b underscore c of 1 dot display and b underscore c of 2 dot display so here we are doing handle assignment that that is we are assigning the extended class handles to base class handles here we can see extended class handle is assigned to base class handle so here we think that base class handle should work as an extended class handle so so we think that extended class handle display method should be displayed extended class display method is is displayed but as a function is non virtual here so it will display the output will be inside the base class this display statement will be printed three times we are assigning extended class handles to base class handles so we think that this while we are calling 
display method using the base class handle, we should get the display statement of this extended class handles. But here it is not happening. As the method names in all the classes are same, although we are assigning the extended class handles to base class handles and displaying with the base class handles, but we are not getting the output correctly. We are getting only the base class display statement like this inside the base class like we will get the output. So make this base class handle act as extended class handle. We will use the keyword virtual here. So if we use the keyword virtual in base class, what happens is when we do object assignment here, extended class handle to base class handle, the base class handle will work as extended class handle. And when we call the method using the base class handle, it will act as a extended class handle and it will call the extended class method and the output will be like this. So every time we call the method with base class handle, it will call the respective extended class handle method. So this will be printed when we call b underscore c of zero dot display. And this will be printed when we call with this handle b underscore c of one dot display. And this will be printed when we call with b underscore c of two dot display. So with the help of virtual keyword, a base class handle can be use it to act as a child class handle like this. So this is all about polymorphism in system Verilog.